Well, my name is So Tatiung. I'm a senior manager at PricewaterhouseCoopers. Um, when I first set out to do the project, the objectives that I had in mind, there were a few that I had in mind, um, but the key ones were really focusing on trying to identify um, what overseas Chinese graduates from Australian universities could experience working in, in Australia and in China, so across the two continents, but particularly focusing in on the expectations and any cultural gaps um, that they could experience in, as part of that um, working across the two different countries. So they were the, the, the main key objectives that I had. Yeah, I suppose in terms of the findings um, from the particular project, working through that, I'm hoping to raise an awareness um, within the corporate communities, if you like, the multinational companies in Australia and international professional service firm in Australia in terms of the importance of addressing cultural intelligence within the workplace. Um, albeit that you may have consistent work methodologies, operating platforms, the importance of cultural awareness, um, the fact that you need to make sure that you do identify any cultural differences um, that your employees may be experiencing and then addressing that and hopefully that will help enhance the relationship that Australia would have with Asia in terms of Australian company doing business in Asia, being aware of that cultural difference and addressing that need. In terms of one of the specific findings that, I, that came out from the project was the different style, the coaching styles um, in Australian firms and in, in China. So one of the things that I, that I sort of identify was within Australian firm there is a tendency for us to train our more junior staff to be more independent in the way they tackle problems and, and, and solve um, problems. Whereas over in China, in their collectivism nature, there is a tendency for them to be more reliant on, reliance on the more senior staff, particularly the immediate level um, above them. So that's one of the, the cultural difference, I suppose, um, between Australia and China. And if you, you really need to identify and address that difference for us to bring the best out of the employees or, or those graduates.